Hi guys, so today I'm talking about Evabradine as a treatment for POTS. This one works by lowering the heart rate and the great thing about this one is that it doesn't affect your blood pressure. For a lot of people the problem with medications like beta blockers is that it lowers their already low blood pressure but this one doesn't do that so that's probably the biggest plus to this one and it also means that a lot of people don't really have any side effects and of course that is a great thing. A lot of people find that they can walk for a lot longer, they can stand for a lot longer and they're overall a lot less dizzy and they don't have the palpitations as much because it just takes the edge off of the tachycardia if that makes sense. It just lowers your heart rate which of course is the problem with POTS. Some side effects that are quite common is a thing called luminosity or the luminous phenomena. You kind of get a haziness around lights or if you go into a lit area it will be too bright for a while and then kind of fade away. And the reason that happens is because this works on a circuit in the heart that is similar in the eyes and so that's why it happens just because the same circuit it works on in the heart is also in the eyes. So if you were going to get any side effects from this one it would probably be that. Another thing that could happen is that if your resting heart rate is quite low and it brings it down further then you could potentially go into bradycardia which is too low heart rate although in POTS that doesn't tend to be the case and you wouldn't be prescribed it in those instances. So I thought that was worth mentioning but it's probably not anything to worry about. If you're watching this video because you've just been prescribed it and you want to know what to expect, your doctor wouldn't have prescribed it to you if your resting heart rate is low. They would have, they would have checked that sort of stuff and so you'll probably be fine. I'm not actually on this one at the moment so I can't give you my experience really. My experience on it was very abnormal and I don't want to scare you. I think the main thing to take away is that most people don't really get side effects with this one. They find that they can stand and walk for longer, they're less dizzy, less fatigue I've heard and just generally feel a lot better. So this is probably a good one to start with. There's no point taking medication that messes with your blood pressure if it's not necessary because for a lot of people this is enough and you can up the dose quite a bit. You normally start on 2.5 milligrams three times a day and then depending on how that affects you you might need to alter it to be having more or having less. So yeah I think this is a really good option. A lot of people have had great results and it has changed their life so don't be too worried if you've been put on this one. I think you should have really good results from it, but you'll also know what to look out for. So good luck if you've been prescribed this. I really hope it works for you or that from this, you'll have something to suggest to your doctor if they're stuck and they don't know what to try you on. I really hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.